the uh, world traveler as of late. What's what's the uh, the vacation time been like for you? Uh, I'm Joanna Traveler right now. You know, you can follow my new Instagram. Uh, actually, I did that Instagram like uh, many years ago, but I didn't have time to run it. But this time, I definitely have more time to do that. Uh, of course, I'm joking, but no, I'm not joking. There is this Instagram, you know. But uh, it's been good. It's been good. I've been uh, traveling, doing some stuff. Um, good, 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 good stuff happening in my life. So uh, I took two months uh, off, uh, no training at all. But I cannot wait to get back to the gym on uh, on Monday after I'll be back uh, uh, to Poland. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. I wonder because I think you put at one point like this is like the first vacation you've taken in forever, and so I wonder like. Was it just important for you to kind of decompress a little bit? I mean, I think about the spotlight that you've been under, right? I mean, and, and, and I think you welcome it a little bit, but your, your, your fights have been so high profile and so tense. Did yeah. it, was it important for you to just kind of get away from the sport for a while? Yeah, the, yeah, the, that's the point. And I want to take a longer break. Uh, probably I will fight in the second part of this year, so maybe August, maybe October. Of course, of course I've got an offer to fight in March, but I want to take some time uh, for myself, uh, train, learn. I love to train, I love to learn, and I want to just, uh, you know, do this for myself. This is what Mikey Brown said after my fight, like, take a longer break. You're just doing camps in the States. I spent seven months last year in the States, and actually today I filled out my... Uh, uh, fill out the paperwork for my new visa and I had to count the days I stayed I'm like 80 days, 70 days, 60 some days, I'm like crazy, no life you know, so I want to stay with my family enjoy my life in Poland, I have many ideas for uh, business I, I do nice uh, stuff with the TV in Poland, I just got back from Mexico where I shoot a program uh, is, uh, uh, this program is from uh, uh, England 50 ways to kill my mom. I didn't kill my mom, but uh, we had an amazing time uh, in, in Cancun. And uh, yeah, that's it. I just want to train, learn, and enjoy my life uh, more. Like you said, I've been fighting uh, a lot. 12 fights in the UFC, 9 for the belt. So uh, all the fights were pretty, pretty hard and intense. Uh, I always respect my opponents, and I always put on good camps. Doesn't matter if you win. If you lose, I always want to be ready and step into the octagon 100%. And that's it. I'm looking forward you know, to fight this year. How hard was it for you to turn down a fight? Because I think you've always been proud um, to say, Dana calls me, I say yes, and that's what we do. That's How hard, hard is it? That, that's hard. That's hard. You know, even with no training, my family is like, I'm, I'm like, oh, I go for a run. I go to the gym. And they're like, no, stay home. You're not going like anywhere, you know? So uh, it's good that I have uh, good people around me, but of course, I'm. I'm in touch with Dan Lambert, uh, Richie, and, and my coaches from American Top Team. Uh, they want me to be back, and I want to be back, but I need to take my time. And uh, yeah, that, so it was it was very difficult to to not take this fight. Um, but I will go down to 115, so I need some time to, you know, refresh my body, refresh my mind, and uh, I feel the fire. I, I, I you know, people uh, define like. Me as an athlete, after my victory or, or or lost fights, you know, but I put on great camps. Like before my last last camp, I was like quality over quantity, but I did both. Like I told you, like during fight week, you know. So uh, I've been working really hard for the last few years and. Uh, Back stronger. That's it. The last thing for me, I, mean, I think you touched on right there. But I think the big question was, what will be your next move? It sounds like you want to wait till late in the year, but 115 is definitely like whoever it is, it's going to be at 115. Yeah, 115, 115. Uh, I'm very happy that I could face the Valentina Shevchenko, and uh, um, you know, I didn't feel the power of her punches, but definitely I felt her clinch, and that's the thing. The, the, that fight with Valentina uh, went on and off, on and off. So I didn't have time to prepare like, physically for this fight because in the clinching she was like super, super strong, you know. And uh, you know that my takedown defense is very good on point, but it was something that it, it was like a body lock. It, 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 you know, I, 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 think, I think I'm proud of myself. I, I did good. She didn't like smash my, he uh, my, my face as she did in her fight before, but. Uh, definitely, if I want to compete in 125, I need to put like muscle away, like build the build the power. But I couldn't do that before that fight with Valentina Shevchenko because I was planning to go. I, I'm still planning to go to 115, so uh, it was difficult decision, difficult fight. But uh, uh, my next step is uh, my next move is 115. <laughs>
How happy were you to see that title fight booked in 115? Oh man. man, I was like, I was getting mad at, at, at Rose. Of course, she's the champ, but man, I, I was a busy champion, you know, and you, you cannot wait. And you, you must defend your belt once in a year. And I'm, I'm very happy that uh, I heard about this fight. And that that this, this fight is happening, and then definitely I want to go to Brazil and watch this fight live. You have plans to do that? Yeah, I, 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 99 percent. I will go to I will go to Brazil and watch this fight, and I cannot wait to see my Brazilian fans. And there's many of them, and, and I wanna just go there, hang out with them, and, and meet them, and watch this fight, of course. A lot of people will assume that you'll want Jessica to win because that could lead you to a quicker title fight. It's not like it's not like I wanna fight Rose uh, or Jessica more, you know, but. Jessica has been doing very. She has been doing very good. There is no girl who beat her in her last few fights, and um, we will see. But you know, someone can look better on the paper or uh, uh, in the rankings. But for me, it's always 50-50. You know, so uh, it's going to be a very interesting fight. And, and Rose must be very clever in this fight. You know, and I think that my fight uh, with Jessica Andrash was, was one of my best fights ever, you know, so it will be great to, to see her again. Who are your thoughts on? Seeing how the rankings are going in the strawweight division, is there someone um, who you can see who you would want to fight? Because I know you did fight Rose, you did fight Jessica. I know Nina has been climbing the ladders as well. Um, but what do you think about that division so far? Oh, the, this division is uh, the lightest division in the UFC, but it's definitely one of the strongest, you know. We put on a hell of a fight. and. Uh, I don't know who's next, you know, and, and I've been fighting with most of them. Of course, the ranking that changed, like uh, Tatiana Suarez is there, Nina. Uh, we are training together in one gym. Of course, it's a difficult decision to face your teammate, you know, but um, but I want to fight for the belt, you know. I might have one fight before, but I'm looking forward to fight for the for, for belt. What are your thoughts on the Nevada Athletic Commission's comments about trash talking? About what? About trash talking. That I, I haven't to... heard about, so I don't know what's going on. They said they wanted to sort of curb the trash talking before fights. Let's... They, they want to cut it? They want to cut it down, yeah, the bad, the, oh. the, the bad language. And... You know, I, I never curse, uh, I never is, insult my opponents, you know. I'm intense, I'm intense, but, uh, you know, you never heard me saying about families, religion, culture, about someone like... You know, of course, there there was a blood, bad blood between me and Gadea. You know, like I'm always very polite at the press conferences, but when someone step on my toe, it's this kind of business. You must be tough and show your mental strength. You know, but sometimes it's too much. Sometimes it's too much, and I agree with that. But that's why fans love this sport. You know, it's something else, and they need it. They need to build the fights. Look at the fighters who made a big money and who who are uh, recognized by the fans. These who, who, who talk a lot, but the, the point is like, back it up, that's it, back it up. Seen on your Instagram yesterday, you were down in Adelaide, you've got some ties here in Australia, why don't you tell everyone about your ties that you have down here in Australia? About what? About the friends and family friends that you have family? down here. Oh yeah, so sorry, uh, uh, I was planning this trip to, to Melbourne because I love this city. Uh, uh, UFC 193 is still uh, one of the greatest uh, UFC shows ever, more than 56,000 people. So, uh, and I have so many fans in Australia, but uh, I went down to Adelaide for two days before I came to Melbourne. A uh, good friend of mine, he, Paul Slovinski, um, super K, uh, superstar uh, in K1 back in the day, he helped me a lot and I'm here because of him. He took me, he believed in me in 2006. He saw me uh, in Thailand and he said like, you are going to be something else, I want to help you kid. And, and back in the day he had, had money, he was very popular and he helped me. I, I could train in uh, Thailand and then I moved to Holland to team Mr. Perfect because of Paul Slovinski. So uh, he's like my brother, so uh, I, I just wanted to see him and, and relax a little bit. And, and that's great, you know. Australia is good. Ten years ago I was supposed to move to live in, in Australia, but I'm having a good life in, in the States and in Poland, so uh, Australia only for vacation. Joanna, what are your predictions for the main event? Oh, I don't like to predict the fights, but uh, I'm a big fan of Kelvin and uh, uh, this kid is something else. Of course, Robert is an amazing athlete. athlete uh, he went through uh, tough fights with uh, 
uh, with uh, remind me the name uh, you all and uh, and it's going to be a tough fight, but I think uh, Kelvin Gastelum has been waiting for this title shot, and it's his time. It, it, it's Kelvin's time, you know. So uh, that's bad. I'm in Australia, and uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I want Kelvin to win. But of course, the better man is going to win. But Robert is a great athlete. He's a great athlete. So it's a good matchup, but it, it's Kelvin's time. What about the co-main event? You've got obviously two premier strikers. Yeah, like, who, who do you think yeah, is the better striker? Legend and the, the young yeah. generation. And, and I don't like the idea of promoting new coming athletes or young athletes uh, in the fights with the legends. You know, they they deserve more respect. But the thing that's interesting match, and I don't know how to predict this fight. You know, it's experience and. Uh, such an experienced uh, Silva and, and you know, young, uh, hungry uh, Israel. So that's an interesting matchup. I don't have prediction for this fight, so sorry. Did you do any wrestling in Mexico? Oh, yes, I did. I did. <laughs> Actually, uh, we have a show every year for uh, Halloween at ATT. Uh, I did my like a pro wrestling debut uh, down in Florida, but uh, I, I did some Lucha Libre uh, match in Mexico, the fans went crazy there when I posted a picture with the costume on and that's funny, that's funny, you know, it, it's sport number one in, the, in, in, in Mexico so I was happy to do that and learn from uh, pro Lucha Libras. <laughs> so you, so you did a match, right? Like, did I, did a, I did a match. I, I actually, I was uh, shooting a program with my mom, so even my mom did a match uh, there. So it's going to be funny. It's going to be <laughs> super funny uh, program, and uh, yeah, it was crazy. I won because my mom she doesn't watch my fights, and uh, we wanted her to like feel the blood, feel the fight, and 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 maybe one day she's gonna come to the states and watch my fight. You know. Last question over here. Top turnbuckle, and so what was that like? Say again. Did you fly off the top turnbuckle, the top rope, when you were doing your pro wrestling match? And what was that feeling like if you did it? What do you mean? Like, we don't like Lucha Libre, they just oh, fly off yeah. the top turnbuckle, they, they do like diving moves. Oh, they do that. Oh, I, I couldn't do all the moves, so I took easy. I took easy, but of course, it's, it, it's crazy. Uh, or, yeah, I, 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 I went easy, I went easy. I went. When, you, when you were doing this, were you thinking like, whoa, Ronda does this too? Like, of course, <laughs> I just, I, I posted like, hey Ronda, I'm ready, like, sign me you know, WWE, but I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Now I want to be focused on my on my career in, uh, in the UFC, there is nothing else, you know. After I retired from uh, uh, MMA, uh, I will end my career in the UFC, you know. It was life changing after I signed the UFC. Uh, I'm blessed with uh, with the UFC, and I know people can say that I I'm trying to stick uh, my finger into into the Dana's ass, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand how you can get how you can talk crap about your employee after the fight. Take it easy. If you don't like it, just get out and fight for other organization. If you're complaining about the money. It's not only about to willing put on work and doing some media. It's actually we all are employees. Like we are fighters. Uh, there are people who are working behind di in different departments. We all like working for one company, one name. So if you don't like it, just get out. Don't complain. You know. So uh, that's why I'm blessed with them. And sometimes people want me to say bad things, but I cannot say bad things. You know, because it was it was life changing. And I remember uh, that I quit so many times before I was signed with the UFC because of no money, no sponsors and no other um, possibilities. So I cannot say a bad word and it's going to be my last employee ever. And that, that's fine because they ask me how many employees I had in my life, only one and it's UFC, you know, that, that, and I'm proud and I'm very proud of it. Thanks, Thank you so much. Thank you.